Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be going over how you can track the value of your LEGO investments. So when I started investing in LEGO, I kind of just had a giant spreadsheet that I would use to track each individual set. I would go through eBay and check to see uh, when the set was retiring, or not when the set was retiring, to check to see what the set was worth at the moment, to see what I could sell it for if I wanted to turn those profits back into my LEGO investing business. And I would just update that every month to see how my sets were doing, which ones were performing better, so I would know what to look for in future LEGO investments. Uh, but then I found a great tool called Brick Economy. It's a, a couple of years ago. It's a great addition to my LEGO investing uh, business in general. It allows you to track the value of this set or any set. They have pretty much every LEGO set listed in their, um, in their information data collection that helps to track the sets. The one, one of the downsides from it though, there's a couple, there's a premium version which you probably won't need that you have to pay for, but the free version is completely accessible to anybody, just make an account. And it's been a great tool for me. And they also give estimates of when LEGO sets will be retiring soon. But that brings up another point that they're certainly not a perfect predictor of when sets will be retiring or of knowing what the set is worth, but it's good to get kind of a general gauge in a quick and efficient way to determine what, a le what your LEGO collection is worth at large and what individual sets are worth. It can also help track LEGO themes and individual LEGO sets and years of LEGO sets from different time periods, which all help to yeah, track the value of your LEGO investments. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe.